<laughs> All right, right so guys, hundreds fun. of contemporary artists are showing off their work downtown. Our uh, Peter Dawson is a piece of art, too. Yes, oh. he is. No, or no, a piece no. of work. Or a or piece, piece of, of work. work. <laughs> work. Yeah, get it right. Yeah. Hey, don't be jealous, Dave. I have been described as an oil painting before, just to let you know. But that right there, that's called No Obligations, just like my live shot. And for 19 grand, it could be hanging up in your lobby. I'll explain. Coming up. Six now. Hundreds of well-established artists looking to catch the eye of some top business people mm, here in town. Yeah, Art Expo Las Vegas is taking over downtown Las Vegas, and Fox Five's Peter Dawson is live from the World Market Center, uh, trying to bring us a little, you know, sophistication and a little art culture to the morning show. What's going on, we my need friend? It, that's for sure. I've I've already failed, right? With those two teases, <laughs> David, <laughs> making fun of each other. Sophistication is now out the door. It's no whole bar all morning long there, Hall. But well-established artists like, well, Peter Max, and I think you've heard of this guy. His name's Andy Warhol. He's done some famous stuff. He's represented here. But it's all about bringing artists to the business community and then, you know, for the hotels, the lobbies, hotels, education centers, hospitals, they all love artwork. Hey, this is Linda. She's kind of in charge over here. What's the benefit of kind of getting all the artists together and the business community versus maybe like private collectors? Well, I think that one of the key benefits is for a designer or a project manager who's doing a hotel, commercial property, they can start with the art instead of the art being an afterthought. And it literally can become part of the branding of the commercial facility or in a home. The artwork is the dynamic part of the home, in, in my personal opinion. And, that and a lot of businesses are talking about that feng shui, the pathway leading up to the front doors or the reflection pond. Is that, that's what you're kind of talking well, about? Well, I'm talking about that, but I'm also talking about the things that make the home memorable. And what, as you um, coming to visit the home, as well as the people that live in the home, seeing it day after day, it's, it's a little different than the sofa or the rug. It's something that you live with. It's, a, it's an expression of who you are. And, and how your life is. Now there's a whole bunch of different styles represented here and that's kind of like the whole point because everyone has different tastes. Explain those baskets real quick because what an interesting story that is. Well those are um, rainforest baskets and they're created by indigenous people and by hand they literally grow the grasses, they create the dyes and then they weave the pieces um, these are incredibly intricate. Some of them take literally um, 24, 36 months to create because the artist decides at the outset. Yeah. You know, they're planting the seeds, literally. And we're going to be planting the seeds all morning long. We're showing you all types of artists, all types of different styles, because we're not going anywhere. There is so much to see. Follow me on Twitter because I'm going to be posting photos of not just the art, but the price tag and coming up, how do you get to that price tag? Well, Linda and I, we're going to talk about that. I'm guessing you beg, borrow, and steal. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's how it